this mission came as an inspiration from a movie about some British in Afghanistan. Yeah, fuck you. You didn't want to answer me when I asked to taxi to take off. They don't hear me when I speak to them. So we're doing a melt power here. Let's see if that works. Just for fun, because I've done it so many times now, I'm getting bored. 130, 140, 50, 75, that should be more than enough, and off. Wheel power takeoff, not that, not that much uh, left in the, off the runway there. So yeah, watching the movie, British attacked by Taliban, call in... Um, Air support and um, uh, a Dutch guy shows up. He says, I can help you. He drops a bomb. For some reason, the Dutch doesn't carry a laser gun bomb. They have the capability in uh, mid 2000s. They got the MLU update for the F 16, so they should be able to use laser gun bombs and whatnot. But no, he had basic bombs, slicks, Mark 82s. He drops them, misses, they ask if he can drop again, he says, no, bingo fuel, I'm going home. So he's a DCS wingman, apparently. And that gave me an idea for this mission. Uh, we are Dutch. I'm from Holland, isn't that weird? Uh, and... Um, And we're gonna drop some bombs. Uh, so the only similarity with the movie is that we're Dutch and we're carrying dumb bombs, not laser guided bombs. Other than that, there's not much of a uh, similarity. But there's still long ago, it's 10 minutes until we get to our next waypoint, so we can just talk to you guys later, guys. Uh, bye bye so far Station now patrolling my wingman. Hey, 
Okay. So, someone's in need. Someone's in dire need here. Okay. So, now. Let's pretend I played with this thing. I got the coordinates. I can't do that yet. If you want someone who knows how to do shit, don't watch my videos. But most do. Don't. Oh, by the way, I made this one. This is my first ever kneeboard thing. I have some stuff. I have comms because I'm terrible with comms. Uh, so let's go calm. Six. There, there. That's our Badger 1 1. Uh, JTAC. Uh, and then we're gonna go uh, here to ground. We're gonna come up. CCIP, that all looks fine. Uh, that looks fine, so let's go up there again. FCR. Hey, the TGP actually works now. Didn't do that last time, it was just black. It's been on, it had been on for like a long time, but you know. And let's change to. There we go. To Two, no, we want three. We can even go all the way to four, actually. There we go. So yeah, we don't have any laser bombs, but we can use the TGP to locate baddies and mark them. And there we have our wingman, still not dead, somehow. Very hard for him not to die. No, oh, we haven't turned on that. So that's a bit stupid. So we're cruising here at. Uh, 3.3 thousand feet. Afghanistan looks nice up here, but then all maps look nice up here. Afghanistan does not look nice down low. Why, oh why they have to make these terrible satellite things for you? And he says, I don't know why. It's not fun to do ground attack or helicopter stuff when your map looks terrible down low. Yeah, look, it looks fine up here. Yeah, so does Syria. Syria also looks fantastic down low. Everywhere, almost everywhere anyway. I can fly for hours in a helicopter without seeing terrible, terrible ground textures or artifacts, etc. in a helicopter, but not here. So we're burning 5,000 pounds an hour. We still haven't used up 2,000, so that's good. That's good. That's good. So yeah, I'm very proud of myself to be able to do that. This is my most complex mission. I added that little voice trigger, that's so sound trigger, that's very not very hard. Uh, there's some A-10s down south doing CAS to have some ambience. We have some F-18s and F-15s flying around here. We have our AWACS and we have uh, a tanker. Still using my little paddies. First time I did this mission last week, I had way too many uh, clouds. Couldn't see shit on the, over the target. Giant cloud over the target. So I have to find a way for him not to blow up. Uh, is there? A, I think there's a command for them to um, uh, circle to basically just patrol. I have to try that. I think. Yeah, I think white hot is probably best. 
<coughs> oh, sorry there. Oddly <coughs> hmm. noises. So how should we do this, my wingman? He's gold member one two, and I'm gold member one one. From we are from Holland, isn't that weird? I can't do gold member voice. Terrible with English accents. With fake English accents, I guess. expect we'll be in much danger but you know so the plan is in theory use CCRP with the teapot to find the targets and then drop with CCR, uh, CCIP use CCRP with teapot and use CCIP with bombing Bag over there doesn't fuck up the mission yet again. I had to watch. I was. I had used up my bombs. I have four bombs. I used up my bombs. I had problem finding uh, the targets because the teapot didn't work. So I asked my wingman to do some bombing because they know where the uh, enemy is always. Didn't get an answer. No answer at all. And I had to check the map. He was gone. So I said, fuck you. Stop the mission. And uh, redid it uh, or watched the replay, and yeah, he just ran into a he just ran into a mountain there, and it looks like there's a giant cloud over the target area yet again. Look at that small, tiny clouds, giant cloud there, exactly where the buddies are. Now soon we will get some more dialogue, and that stuff I made with AI voice. I recorded several AI generated voice uh, dialogue thingies and added some uh, radio effects and whatnot, so yeah. Let's see how that works out. Well, I know, because I've played this mission now three times. has given me coordinates on this boxy box so I know where to look and I've added it. Uh, there's a giant cloud right in front of the objective. That's fantastic. Why? Why does DCS know that my target is right there? Oh, God damn it. It's the exact same cloud too, man. How? Why? Uh, okay, let's get our wingman to not die. So go away. There's even a thingy there. Let's try this again.
there we go. There's some actual stuff there. Uh, there they are. That's the question, if I have Where is that motherfucker thingy? Okay, I still have it on DCIP as planned. Danger close, danger close, guys. Danger close mission. Yay! Yay! So far, so good. Back to CCRP there. Okay, one group down. And uh, let's go from there to there. We have plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. Let's try and go perpendicular there. Let's go like that. There. Good with the fuel, good with the fuel, still burning a lot of fuel though. We can try and go for guns on them. Give them a little squirty squirt with guns.
Now we just have to take the pepper on the thingy there. We can throttle down. It's all about getting that on there. Now, the 20mm in real life would be far more effective than it is in DCS. We're gonna try anyway. Altitude. Altitude. Pull up. Hey! We did it! Okay. Happy, happy. Gun. Oh, back from gun. Gonna go to CCRP again. And now we have. I made this thing. Ah, oh, I forgot about this. I made another thing here. Let's see. Look there. I made it. See, we killed at least th two groups there. Now we're gonna try and there's mortars to the east there. Let's see if we can find those mortars. Let's see if we can find those mortars. Uh, so we're gonna go. Ah, fuck. I don't have time for this. Here we go. Uh, I think they're somewhere around there. I think, ish, maybe. Uh, those are not there. Uh, that's probably. They might be there. There they might be. Yeah, that might be the correct one. Oh. Ugh, and I fucked up this thing too, man. Here we go. Okay. Still plenty of fuel. Three bombs. Plenty of fuel and three bombs. Just gonna make that soy again. Add a bit of power on the turn. Let's see. We want probably there, but we want it over there, I think. That's the hill we want. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That beautiful thingy there. We might actually even manage to do this on one pass. We might even actually manage to do this on one pass. That's very sexy if we can.
Got some of them. Definitely got some of them. Okay. Put that thing. And uh, let's go for. to hope that our gun paper finds it, I can actually aim with the something got lighted on fire, that's for sure. That's pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm slowly starting to get somewhat control of uh, the F-16. There, that's, oh, no, don't. God damn it, I keep hitting my... Uh, I'm asking, yes, I still plenty of fuel. Set for this thing again. Here's the reset. Is there any the bad is there? That's the question. Too much smoke, man. Smoke is in the way. Eight thousand pounds. Okay, my F-16 hasn't blown up yet. That's good. You know what? Let's let's ask our friend if he can help. Doesn't 
blow up our friendlies though, because the AI does that. Let's hope he attacks the mortar stuff, if there's still mortar stuff there. Hmm. Too low, but if I'm too high, then I won't see shit either. Spotted under some trees. I'm just going to go out again. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up the good guys, Mr. Guy. Uh, ED still hasn't fixed the problem with the ground units not uh, rearming with the uh, ammo trucks. They stopped firing quick quickly. That's a bug. This ED hasn't bothered fixing that. Almost in the green smoke there. That's okay, and let's change to there. So we want to drop danger close apparently. It's almost in the green light. Out. Truck is still burning like hell, though. Ass truck man. So we're gonna put it around. Come on, there we go. There we go. Let's drop it. There we go. Got them all! Nice! I'm so fucking happy! Yes! I did something! Not sure what that cost me. I think it's just because I'm out of bombs. Doors config? Yeah, I think it's because I'm out of bombs. Okie doke, we can save the plane now, um, there we go, and we can do good one, and we can fly, uh, mission, okay, no, 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 
rejoin. Rejoin. Don't drop any bombs on the good guys now. I've actually done it right. My most professional expert in, uh, mission ever. And I've done it. Woo! With lots of fuel. Uh, I'm so happy. Now I'm gonna crash from landing. I'm definitely gonna do that. These grey shit over there, that's probably Kandahar and Kandahar Airport there. Altitude. Altitude. Yeah, 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 altitude, altitude. So they're probably gonna ask me to either wait, they're gonna say contact tower when I'm really close, or they're gonna say check landing gear when I'm about to land, or nothing. But they won't answer me when I ask them. So let's see if we can land here. We took off that way, so we're gonna land that other way. Let's put on the speed brake. We get some speed down. We are pretty light, so should not be any problem. I have a backseat driver called Nisha, who is in heat and wants men, however she is very very old. Way too old for young men. Uh, where's the actual? There's the runway. So let's fly parallel to that. Still don't talk to me, do you? We can take up the, there again. I'll try a long run in this time, so we have good time to straighten up. There we go, gears down. to get in there and so we can uh, straighten up, get on speed and all that jazz. I try to land this thing as a warbird, not necessarily a good thing. So yeah, if I actually manage to land this thing that's a very successful mission, probably one of my most successful missions actually. Took a three enemy infantry groups with bombs and I actually took out some uh, armor and um, mortars and trucks too and that's very happy using the TGP as an aiming device which you apparently can use which is cool my altitude is 4000 what's my, what's my radar altimeter here how do I turn on my radar altimeter Radar, there it is. The R is probably radar. So I'm at 800. Oh, I'm basically at stalling speed here now. So let's. <sighs> I've been chatting around here. Let's go up to 250 before turning around. So we don't fall down. Runway. 
Altitude. Altitude. Time now. Plenty of time to align everything in there. That's a speed break. We're going very, very fast. So we want that and that. Ah, it's getting cluttered. I could probably declutter now, but I done that. Keeping that on that. My e-bracket is completely out of whack still. Okay, let's turn off that again. Let's keep on speed please, on speed. A bit shallow, it's quite a bit shallow. Let's try not to crash this thing. Try and straighten out. I'm so bad. I wonder why I'm so bad at landing in the F-16 of all things. Kind of very tricky to land. Still a bit off though. Straighten up. Straighten up. So it would be the bad landing after. Yeah. Perfect mission. But I managed to save it. Might have scraped the tail a bit. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Guys, I'm down. One, one. Taxi's parking area. See, now they talk to me. Damn it. Which means I had the right thingy, but they don't want to talk to me. Okay, let's go home. Can we... Where's actually the roll-off thingy here? So yeah, I think that's actually a pretty successful mission there. Uh, let's hope the AI gas run into us. Well, that would be kind of funny. Trying to find an off-ramp here. Trying to find an off-ramp. It's so flat, I can't see shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's actually a successful mission. Uh, I think it's a relatively realistic uh, scenario. Um, some infantry under attack from mortars and infantry and aircraft come in. I read quite a few of these close air support missions in Afghanistan and that's actually quite often how they go.
Uh, yeah. Uh, I have nothing more to add. I hope the video becomes okay. I like this mission. I, this is almost good enough to publish, I think, as a mission on user files. Not quite. I'm still not good enough at uh, making mission briefings and whatnot and whatnot. Just not good enough for that. So yeah, uh, see you guys later, bye bye!